here in this video we will see what is meant by gerber's criteria now this gerber's criteria is used in case of design and it is one of the simplest methods here gerber's criteria can be understood that it is a graph of variable stress sigma v versus mean stress sigma m so it is basically a graph of variable stress versus mean stress and on this graph we have the stresses on the positive x axis as tensile and the negative x axis as compressive stress now here as we can see there is a gerber parabola here we are having a gerber parabola and these points which are closer to the parabola are called as the failure points because when the element was subjected to some kind of load it has failed and that stress values are plotted and it has come closer to the gerber parabola now as these lines are scattered we are going to modify the system and that modification is in the form of goodman line and soderberg line which are straight lines that is instead of parabola these are the straight lines if we are joining the sigma e value which is called as the endurance stress to the ultimate stress then it is called as goodman line and if sigma e is connected to sigma y which is called as yield stress that is called as soderberg line now once we have understood this graph next i can say that i can write the formula that according to gerber variable stress is given by now according to gerber the variable stress it can be written as sigma v is equal to sigma e into 1 upon factor of safety minus sigma m upon sigma u whole square into factor of safety and then it can be simplified keeping factor of safety on one side so sigma v upon sigma e is equal to 1 upon fos minus sigma m upon sigma u whole square fos i'll keep 1 upon fos on one side so 1 upon fos is equal to sigma v upon sigma e plus sigma m upon sigma u whole square fos so now this is the equation of gerber's criteria and here we have sigma v as variable stress sigma e as endurance limit stress or we can say endurance stress sigma m is mean stress sigma u ultimate stress and fos is the factor of safety now the gerber equation which i have written here this is neglecting stress concentration factor now when we are considering stress concentration factor then the equation becomes 1 upon fos is equal to sigma v into k suffix f upon sigma e plus sigma m upon sigma u whole square into fos so now i can say that this equation it is gerber's equation considering considering stress concentration factor and here i can define the terms where sigma v is equal to variable stress k suffix f is equal to fatigue factor for stress concentration next sigma e is equal to endurance limit stress then sigma m is equal to mean stress and next sigma u is equal to ultimate stress 
and here we have FOS as the factor of safety. And all the stress values they have a unit of Newton per mm square. So here in this video we have seen the Gerber's criteria that is it is actually a parabola which on with on that parabola the points which are closer to that are the failure points that is the object which was subjected to some kind of loading when it has failed it has come closer to the Gerber parabola and if it is simplified then we get two lines which are Goodman line and Soderberg line. Goodman line considers yield uh, ultimate stress whereas Soderberg line considers yield stress and here is the parabola which is the Gerber parabola and we have seen its two equation first which was neglecting the stress concentration factor and the second equation we have seen considering the stress concentration factor and with this we complete this concept.